The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 175. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of real women producing extraordinary results by finding their inner journey to self-confidence five days a week. Get your free audiobook at our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on. She's all the way from Los Angeles, California. She's an actor, a blogger, and also a body image activist, so I'm really excited to have her on and share her tips and stories on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Lynn Chen. Lynn, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. I'm very good. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, For those of you who don't know who I am, I am an actor. I've been an actor most of my life. And I started a blog six years ago called The Actor's Diet, which was about my journey with food. Uh, I have uh, had a long, tumultuous relationship with food in that I had I struggled from eating disorders. And because of that, I started another blog with Lisa Lee called Thick Dumpling Skin, which was specifically for Asian Americans dealing with eating disorders and body image issues. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And it's great that you were able to um, create a blog, like, you know, informing people about um, bad eating habits and body image, especially, you know, in the world today where I feel like we feel like um, we're constantly, you know, told that there's a certain body image that we have to perfect when really there isn't, right? I mean, we are our own person. So and it's just a false perception of that. So, you know, great that you, you created that. And what's your um, cultural background? Uh, my family is from Taiwan, both my mom and my dad. And I grew up in, I was born in Queens and I grew up in New Jersey. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Lynn, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I think probably the one that resonates the most with me, I don't know if it's a self-confidence quote, but yeah, I guess it is. It is never compare your beginning to someone else's middle. I don't know who said it, but I see it a lot. You know, when you go through, scroll through Instagram, you see a lot of inspirational quotes. And that's something that always gives me a moment to remind myself that we're all different and we're all on a different journey, and we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to one another in general. I love that quote. And especially, you know, being um, women of Asian descent, we're always prone to compare ourselves to others, right? I mean, especially through our upbringing, it's like, why can't you be like so and so's child? Or, you know, why can't you be like your sister or your cousin? And, you know, that that in, in turn, we, we start comparing ourselves to others thinking, you know, why aren't I like the person on the magazine or the person on TV? Because you are not that person, right? You know, you have to realize you are your own person and there's a beauty of that. So, you know, great quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? Self-confidence changes for me. Like sometimes in my, in my younger years, self-confidence was, you know, feeling good about how I looked most definitely. And as I get older, I realize that not only is that not as important to me, but you know, it's it's sort of like co- going back to what we were saying before about not comparing yourself to someone else's middle. It's also not comparing yourself to yourself, to former versions of yourself or future versions of yourself. It's just being comfortable with who you are today. Like I have been on photo shoots, in TV shows, on on film, and know that those things are false. But they can make you feel really good when you have a professional helping you with things. But it's, it's a false reality. So there's nothing wrong when you're in that, uh, when you're getting dressed up and having people help you to feel your best. But just because you feel your best in that situation doesn't mean that it's not okay the next day when, you know, literally you're like Cinderella. You're, you've removed the pumpkin. The pumpkin is gone and... I mean, or the coach has turned back into a pumpkin, you've removed the gown, you've removed the glass slippers, and you're just who you are. And that's okay, too. There's nothing wrong with being Cinderella. I mean, in her in her rag state, not her other state. But there's nothing wrong with her being that. It's just you got to be comfortable in your own skin wherever you are. I totally agree. It's just, you know, being comfortable, being yourself, even with your flaws, even with your strengths and weaknesses, it's like taking all of yourself and being okay with it. And I think we tend to forget that we focus on our strengths and we're so hard on ourselves when it comes to our weaknesses that we have to learn to embrace them and be happy with them and be proud of them. And 
you know, there's always a lesson learned from every single thing that we learn about ourselves each and every day. So, you know, I love that. And, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self self confidence? Well, I mentioned this before that I had eating disorders. And when I remember when I was in recovery, I remember something my eating disorders therapist said to me was like, why do you hate yourself so much? And I remember thinking, what, what are you talking? I don't hate myself. I love myself. And in fact, I want nothing but the best for myself. I, I consider myself to be a pretty selfish person, you know, like that I just want it all. And I thought that that was considered self-love. But I realized, of course, all these years later that the abuse that I put on my body was not love at all. So it's sort of like, it's, you know, it's, it's not so bl as black and white as I'm, I'm, trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to say. It was, it was a dark time. And I'm not saying that, it, that I don't have dark times now. I, I hate to say that like just because I've recovered, I don't have problems anymore because I definitely do. It's just different. It's Life is in the gray now. It was very black and white before, and now life is in the gray. And I, and I never thought that I would like it in the gray, but the truth is I do. It's okay. And I'm not really afraid of, of failing or falling anymore because I know I can get through it. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And you know, um, talking about eating disorders can be a little bit challenging for most women because like you said, a lot of people don't like to admit it. Even when you mentioned when, when your um, counselor said, why do you hate yourself so much? You were like, I don't hate myself. I mean, I love myself. That's why I'm doing this. And love comes in many different ways, no matter what happens. Right. And you know, sometimes it may come in a way that's not um, helping us, but yeah. sometimes, you know, that darkness can't you can see the light out of it and be able to come out of it and be stronger and be the person that you are today. I mean, you know, after that realization, what's your life like now? My life is really just filled with a lot of joy. I you know, I still have a lot of a lot of issues, a lot of problems, and I'm not definitely not perfect, but I have let go a lot of the guilt and the shame that I used to hold on to, you know, the voice in my head that Ironically, I thought it was my parents, you know, trying to tell me to be perfect. But when I really listened, I realized it wasn't their voice. It was my own voice telling me to feel badly about, you know, what I had eaten or how I looked or what I hadn't accomplished in my life or my career or, fan, you know, all those things. That negativity, I just, it's not that I don't have a place for it. I definitely still have negative thoughts. But now when I have them, I sort of listen to them and I acknowledge them and then I move on instead of sitting there wrestling with them forever, which is what I was doing before, I think. Awesome. And it's amazing, right? When we when we play the blame game on others, not realizing, you know, it's our responsibility to change if we really want it yeah. and to go out there and just do whatever it takes. And you know, the more that we're learning to love ourselves and being aware of our feelings and our emotions, it's so much easier to just snap out of it, right? Like you said, if you were in a bad mood or sad, I mean, you see it, you acknowledge it for what it is, and then you can change it in an instant. And it, you know, it's such a great feeling to know that you can do that, you have the power to do that. So, you know, it's great that you're able to to um, be aware of it and just change it and, you know, just keep on filling your, your life with joy and love. So Lynn, you know, to the woman who's listening to this episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I have to say perseverance is really key. The times when things are really dark, it's really hard to remember what hope looks like or what the possibility of hope looks like. I remember when I was really struggling with my eating disorder, I was seeing a therapist, a specialist, and it had been years, and I would just relapse. And I remember during those relapses that I would think to myself, like, I, I just, it's this is impossible. This is never going to happen because it's been years. I'm doing everything I can, and it is not getting better. And I've tried everything, and it's still not working. And what is ironic is that there really was no one moment where I didn't hit rock bottom and change my life. There, it, it, was, it was a very slow, steady climb to where I am today, which is having been not, I, I hate you saying fully recovered because you're never fully recovered. Okay. So I guess what I, the, 
I guess the most important thing that I would say is to have perseverance and know that you're, you're going to get through it. You're not always going to know <laughs> what the right thing or the wrong thing is. And you just got to trust yourself. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I just believe, you know, perseverance does, you know, help you get get to wherever it is you need to go. And like you said, you know, sometimes life may throw you a curveball and you may think, what is going on? But in the end, it's always for a purpose. And, you know, there's either a lesson or a blessing out of it. And we just got to take it for what it is. So, you know, great, great tip that you mentioned. And Lynn, if our listeners want to connect with you or get to know a little bit more about what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, if you just went to linchen.com, L-Y-N-N-C-H-E-N.com, and it has links to everything, everything from my Think Dumpling Skin stuff to the actor's diet to just my regular acting stuff. I have multiple social media profiles all over everything focusing on different subjects. So very easy to get in touch with me and find me. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, Lynn. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Lynn, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Lynn's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I really just want to thank Lynn for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was our pleasure. To the listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us at the Tao of Self-Confidence. Head over to the Tao of Self-Confidence.com for full recaps of every show, our amazing blog articles and resources, and just plain fun. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. So start today.